welcome back to Emily's Vlogs. Um, so, today, it's right here, I'll be right back. Today, we are reading, um, I'm sorry, and I sometimes have days where I just can't think. So yeah, okay. Um, we're reading First Corinthians, chapter two, verse one through eight. That's not that much at all. So you're reading eight verses today. So yeah, that's our memory verse. And there we go. Right there is where we're reading. So, my sister, her 18th birthday is coming up. So excited. Um, and I hope she has a good birthday because. It's her 18th birthday. It's like an adult. <laughs> um, and just so many things have happened this year. And then on top of it, my sister's turning 18. <laughs> but like so many amazing things have happened this year. And like we're gonna be going to pumpkin patches now and stuff. And it's cold out, I'm so excited. <laughs> Um, I wish, like, in the winter time it was cold, but still, like, I told my friend this so many times. I wish it was cold, but, like, sunny, you know? Because it's, like, all, like, uh, outside, <laughs> whatever. It's, like, all dark and stuff. And last year it snowed on my birthday, and I used to hate snow. But now I love it, but, like, I don't want to go outside in it because it's so cold. Uh, but, like, I'm so excited for winter this Christmas. I'm excited for just we might not be doing anything for Halloween because uh, I don't think our church is doing anything because COVID had to ruin it. Um, but... I'm just so excited and you're gonna have a vlog coming up uh, of Halloween costumes there's gonna be Halloween costumes there's gonna be vlogs just like fall vlogs there's gonna be carving pumpkins there's gonna be costumes carving pumpkins and fall vlogs and then I'm turning 14 this year. So excited. Um, and hopefully, like, some of my friends can stay at night. Uh, I have never had more than one person stay the night on my birthdays which I'm fine with it because like the how many people like that don't matter like it's fun to have a lot of people because like you can do so many things and so many games and stuff but it's also nice to have one on one time so just so excited for this year I'm so excited for what this year is going to bring uh, the best thing about this year that has ever happened is me getting closer to God because it just makes everything seem that much better. Not seem that much better, it makes everything so much better. Like a year or two ago, um, everything, I didn't find joy in anything. But now I just find joy in like every single thing and I actually see the good in people and stuff and 
I'm just so much happier because like I don't know it's just I'm so much happier usually I'd be like all depressed and all sad that winter's coming but now I'm like I'm so excited because like get dressed in clothes like this got some leggings on too I got my tennis shoes on because it's not super cold or we need boots yet but I just I'm so excited for this year. I'm so excited for Halloween. i uh, so excited for pumpkin carving. Oh, another vlog. I'm going to be going to pumpkin patches. I already said this, but I'm going to vlog it. So, you can see me pick out my pumpkin last year or two years ago. I got giant pumpkin. And it... I carved a giant pump, and it was like probably five dollars, and it was like ginormous. You could fit another normal sized pumpkin in it, but um, I carved it, and then I put a pumpkin inside of that giant one, like it was eating it, and then I made it look like the other one was screaming. It was a lot cuter. I'm explaining I swear it's not that freaky because I don't do freaky stuff because I'm not like that um but I'm just so excited and I really want to like make my pump like now I feel like it's more, more fun doing carving the pumpkin instead of painting on it but I want to carve pumpkins have pumpkin spice coffee I love coffee. If you don't know that about me, you should because coffee, best thing on earth. I love it. Uh, if, like, I do not like tea at all, though. Mm -mm. Tea, I like, like, tea for, that you buy from a store in the fridge, but not, like, tea tea, you know? I like coffee. I'm, I'm a coffee girl. It'd be so cool to work at a coffee shop when I'm older, like, as my first job. But I really want to be a cosmetologist. If y'all don't know what that is, because it's kind of a big word. Um, <laughs> trust me, I didn't know what it was for a long time. Um, it's just, like, a person that does hair and stuff, cuts hair, styles hair, colors hair. And I want a cosmetologist, like, hair doll deal thing. Yeah. Uh, but... Like, I've trimmed my little sister's hair before. I actually think I did pretty decent. I didn't make it, like, all bad, at least. Um, then my mom's letting me color her hair sometime. So excited. Because she can't see, like, the back of her head, you know? Um, I'm just so excited for this year. I hope you guys are, too. And if you were like me, like last year... I was depressed about it being winter, but with God, you can always find the good in things. With anything, trust me. Like, if you, like, are going through a bad time, and... It's just hard. Just go to God because He can make everything seem so much better. Trust me. And if, like, if you're just going through a hard time, like, say you aren't going, like, you aren't friends with certain people anymore. At least you had those good memories with them. If you didn't have good memories with them, then God was probably telling, trying to tell you that whole time to stay out of that friendship. If He took someone out, have taken someone out of your life, and keeping them out of your life for a reason, just stay. Just let God work it out because God is God knows what he's doing 
don't try to keep going back to that person. If God's trying to keep it, like him or her out of your life, then just let God work. He probably is taking them out of your life just for a time, just for maybe, say, a year. If he took them out of your life for a year, and then uh, you guys were friends again after that year, he's probably working on that person or even working on you because he just knew that time you guys weren't going to help each other grow spiritually, grow closer to God. He knows that that person probably isn't good for you, probably won't help you grow any closer to God, or he knows that person will take you away from God. So just trust him with your life. Trust him because he is... He knows what's best for you. He always has and he always will. As long as you let him work in your life, your life will be amazing. I'm not going to say there aren't going to be hard times. But some hard times, God's just testing you to see if you are really committed to him. To see if you're really going to stay close to him. And that's where you just need to trust God. And you need to stay, safe, stay close to him. You need to stay in your Bible, memorize verses, and just keep growing in faith. Don't ever stop. Because if you stop and get to the place that I was in before, I promise you, you will not be happy. Satan might make you seem like it's fun at first. But then you're just thinking in your head, and you're thinking, oh, these things make me happy, happier than I've ever been with God. But they don't. That's just Satan tricking you, dragging you away from God. Satan's just dragging you down and dragging you down and dragging you down until you can't hear God's voice anymore telling you right from wrong. You aren't close to God anymore. Your life is miserable. Don't let Satan do that to you. Give your life to God. Let God work in your life. And also, there's a really good show I think all you should watch. It's called Breakthrough. It's about a, um, well, it's a good message, but there's, like, how it's, like, a concert in a church. That's not right just but there's a good message in it it's called breakthrough it's about a kid that i'm not going to spoil a lot of it but it's about a kid that breaks through ice so just i really think you should watch that but they do go to a church where it's like a concert and that's not how church is supposed to be because that's adding worldly stuff concerts worldly stuff mixing it with god in his house and just mixing it and that's not how it's supposed to be you're supposed to be separated from the worldly things you're not supposed to be of the world you're supposed to separate god And worldly stuff, because worldly stuff just leads to hell, just leads to Satan, just drags you down. Trust me, I figured that out. And music is one of my weaknesses. I, I listened to music a lot, and it was not good, and it did not have good things in it and talk about good things and I thought that was the only when I was in a dark place I thought that was the only thing that made me happy in the world but it's not music doesn't really make me happy it was just Satan tricking me but like I still like music like 
Disney songs and stuff. And good songs, not worldly songs. It's just... Music is one of my weaknesses. And whenever you find out your weakness that pulls you away from God, you need to do whatever you can to get that out of your life. And if it's music for you too, keep music out of your life. Don't have any music apps. Don't have any songs on your phone that can make you be tempted to listen to it. Only listen to good godly songs. There's this one song. It's from the Clarks. And they are very good people to listen to. Uh, it's called... Um, Leave With Nothing Left. It's called Leave With Nothing Left by the Clarks. You can find that on YouTube or on this music app. But if music is your weakness, you should get rid of any music apps. You should not let music into your life. Only let good godly music. I recommend listening to the Clarks because that's what helps me the most. Just... And Big Enough by the Clarks is also good. Just do not let music drag you down if that's your weakness. And if anything else is your weakness, stay away from it. Get it out of your life. Keep it out of your life. As long as you live, keep it out of your life. Because it will just drag you down and hurt you. It might make you happy for a little bit, but that's not worth going to hell for. Burning in hell for the rest of your life. That is not worth it at all. Listening to a little song is not worth it. Worth getting away from God and being in a bad place for the rest of your life. And some of you could, you could be like me and get out of that bad place. But don't ever try to get in the bad place because it's awful. Okay, so sorry. I kind of talked a lot. Um, but... Just people need to hear it, and yeah. Thank you for watching. I'm Vlogs. Hope you have a great day or night. Whenever you're watching, so peace out.